kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company. I'm back with a progress update report on The Boring Company's project in Las Vegas. Progress over the last month has been excellent. Really good to see constant progress every day. And really, really confident now that they're going to finish before Christmas. Now, it's very important to note that obviously with the Consumer Electronics Show not taking place in January, they may extend the uh, the finish date just to ensure that they have done absolutely everything possible to ensure this system is safe. But that's not to worry because I anticipate that the vast majority of the construction works will be finished before the first week of December. So let's have a look and see what's been happening. So this is station two, right in the middle of the project. Again, this is the most interesting of all the stations because it's a below ground station. Uh, they've used sheet piling. It's a very large station. It's got a very high capacity. There's vehicles going through there and vehicles uh, parked up in that area as well. So it's interesting looking at this. Is this going to be the standard layout for future projects for the Boring Company when they require a station like this? Because most of the time they won't require a station. So, uh, what colour should we use today? Let's use green. Here's our excavation. The majority of the work is taking place in here. And I'm absolutely confident now that they have poured the slab, the concrete slab, that forms the base of this excavation. So um, that is done. Now, these here are concrete planks. And at some point, they're going to end up in here. In fact, they have already ended up in here. This was yesterday. So there's a big concrete pour, many, many trucks. I counted at least seven trucks. Uh, there's probably more because I missed most of the day. They were pouring the slab in this station. Also notice this here. That's our first concrete plank. So I anticipate that next week we're going to start to see more of these arrive and they'll start to fill it in, as it were. They'll then probably cover it with a layer of hardcore or MOT as we like to call it here in the UK. And then they'll cover that with a layer of Tarmacadem, which will form our finished surface. Other than that, on site, there's not really that much else that needs uh, doing. Um, the majority of the work is going to take place in here. I imagine they'll tidy this up, um, uh, get it back to how it was prior escalator will be somewhere over here and that'll be that so this is inside station two as you can see i've got our vehicles here i really wish these were model x's rather than model threes but you know it's all good is that a model y i don't know if that's a model y actually is that a model y or a model three they look very similar i just noticed as well these what are these? Are these traffic lights? I'm not entirely sure. Tell me what you think they are in the comments below. And these are our escalators. Which they'll probably be installing, uh, I'd anticipate, mm, early October, maybe late October, something, or maybe even earlier than that. Okay, so this is not station one but this is the uh the exit ramp for station one um just letting you know what's happened recently that they've, they've completed this excavation here uh, they've removed the secant piles here um, and they formed this ramp which will then um, make permanent with um, a concrete base and then they'll build some retaining walls here overall not very much is that most of the interesting stuff is over here yeah unfortunately we can't see it i've not been able to find a webcam of station one station one's quite an interesting one it's similar to station three 
Uh, if you know of a webcam, please tell me and I can have a look. If you live in Las Vegas, people have contacted me in the past and taken pictures, which is wonderful. So wonderful. Thank you if you did help me in that way. Please, please, please. The one thing that I desperately want to look at is Station 1. What is happening? Have they started building the, the, uh, the steel canopy? Um, have they uh, you know, set, set it out ready to go? Have they tarmacked the ground there? Have they set it out even? You know, what is going on over there? Have they even done anything? I have no idea, so I can't comment on it. This area here will be covered and returned back to a car park at some point. The one thing that I anticipate will happen now, and this is a bit of a prediction, it might happen, it might not happen. This area here will remain open. The reason I think it will remain open is they need to have some form of uh, mechanical ventilation. I anticipate it will sit over here or maybe here and they'll maybe or maybe they might it might just be adequate just to leave this area open to the elements and just have a natural form of uh, ventilation but we'll have to see i don't have any plans so i can't tell you exactly what's happening here but um go to red this area here will be covered with a concrete slab and they've already cropped these piles here, exposing our soldier piles. As you can see, soldier, 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 soldier. Uh, they will form part of the slab that sits above this ramp. Um, I anticipate they'll start installing formwork uh, maybe two weeks' time, maybe next week, who knows? Um, and then the concrete portal will occur in September at some point to cover this up and they'll probably to keep things um, as efficiently as efficient as possible they'll also pour the retaining walls here at the same time so all in all that's good I mean this all could be finished within a month's time so you know they're well ahead they've got four months easily four months to finish all this so plenty of time um, this is what it's going to look like adjacent to that exit ramp uh, lovely looking station canopy near the west hall here um, I don't even know if these are just information boards or charging um, uh, docks as well like superchargers I think they're just information boards so it'll just tell you you are car 57 you know this is where you load in. I think those are Model 3s actually. They look like Model 3s. Excellent. And that's a Model S. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so that's basically it for progress at Las Vegas. Well on schedule. I'm not worried. Steve Davis is not worried. Elon Musk is not worried. It's going to finish on time. The key thing to talk about is can they achieve 4,400 passengers per hour during the calibration period i'm 80 percent sure that they will do it but there's some doubt in my mind that they will do it with model threes i anticipate they'll need to use much more model x's they may need to modify those cars as well so they can seat uh eight people potentially seven to eight people i think that is the way forward modify the model x's get in like bench style seating and then you can pack more people in there then you need to do less trips and you can increase the throughput and get up to 4,400 passengers per hour oh, of course we've got station three as well station three has been the busiest uh, site on the job so this is the new part of the convention center here uh, that's doing pretty well I think it's all internal works from here on in so as you can see we installed our formwork in this area this is from about 10 days ago this a picture so all our format went in our rebar went in as well uh, these retaining walls were set out um, and then it was uh, a big pour a big pour took place and as you can see it all got covered up they covered it up with uh, with the dirt that they had uh, laying around on site um, install a damp proof membrane here to waterproof the system here's our outbound ramp here here's our inbound ramp here 
and our station is going to be in this area here it's not very good is it let's try that again there we go so all in all again that's interesting work seems to be progressing at a really rapid pace uh, this potentially could all be finished in the next two to three months allowing them lots and lots of time to complete the calibration work this here um, not entire I think that's a ventilation duct I don't think that is an emergency escape um, if we look at our previous picture I can't really see anything here that would line up with that hmm over here so I assume that's just uh, an emergency uh, sorry not a ventilation shaft rather than an emergency escape these here again look like some kind of ventilation shaft or something that's not on the finished um, so it's right around here isn't it interesting interesting I have to find out what they are uh, but as you can see on this drawing there is nothing here uh, the CGI has missed it out but it's not I mean not really that important to know what these things are but it's just interesting uh, to establish what it is and why it's there basically but they're not part of the critical path the main thing is this area here where they're going to build the station canopy which should hopefully be going up in the next uh, few weeks uh, once they install the, uh, the the concrete foundations for it the pad stones or maybe it's going to sit on piles I don't know probably be pad stones so there you go and there's the cutter head which is going to remain on site there as an interesting uh, point of reference there we are done 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 so summarize it's going to finish early this is excellent and you know everything's going to plan for las vegas thank you for joining us please consider liking subscribing to the channel joining us on discord twitter and instagram and remember guys don't be boring i'll see you on the next one thank you